Welcome to day two of Fun in the Commons. Very excited to have everyone here. Uh, day one was fantastic. I hope you all had a great time and met tons of you know, very interesting people. There was a lot of fantastic conversations. So I'm very much looking forward to day two. And uh, happy Saturday, everyone. All right. So my name is Matthew Fralick. I'm the network funding lead at Protocol Labs, also involved in organizing this event um, among the army of people that um, are behind the scenes doing all the great work. So if you see an events person running around, uh, please say thank you because they've done a fantastic job at this event so far. So quick couple logistics uh, to kick this thing off, then we'll have you right into the speakers and the end conference. Recap day one, what happened? We had an amazing set of speakers in the auditorium. I'm very excited about that. We had 50 years impact capitalism in the library. Um, as you can see, we had some great crowds and a very, very good hallway track, which was the goal of this. Like, let's get as many conversations as we can happening in the hallways. We have a very concentrated group of super interesting people who are very aligned with public goods and commons. So let's keep that going today. And just to note that all videos will be uploaded to Protocol Labs and 50 Years YouTube channel um, and our respective partners um, as the videos become available today. So what's in store for today? We have more great guest speakers uh, coming up in the auditorium, uh, many academics, Web3 uh, builders, um, investors, funders. So we're super excited about the lineup. We also have the Shelling Point pop-up. So the unconference, it's in the library. You may have seen the signs. Uh, super excited to have them partner with us. And the quick schedule update, we now have two additional speakers. Um, Naran Barbalo, um, my apologies, Naran, if I misspelled your name. Um, and we also have SJ Klein, who's coming back from the main stage today to give a follow-up workshop. So very excited for both those. Also, quick shout out to Pooja Shah from Tefra Labs. She's running a workshop from 1 to 3 p.m. Um, it's about long-term uh, research and funding in or sorry, long-term uh, funding mechanisms in research. You can still sign up. It's limited availability, but I uh, highly encourage you to go check out the website and hit the sign up link. And also the hallway track continues as always, and we have a reception at 5 p.m. So drinks will be had. All right, quick reminder here, um, just to you know jog everyone's memory, Evan, I think has done a great job explaining this yesterday, but we're trying to run a live experiment at Fund in the Commons um, around impact certificates. And for those of you who uh, may or may not, may not have followed some of the impact certificate discussions, essentially we see this as a core building block of retroactive funding mechanisms. Um, so what we're trying to do is in some ways prove the basic concept of impact certificates by having each of our speakers who have done a great job um, in essentially building a proof of concept and minting something that they did that felt they felt was very impactful. So we'll release a full list of these and you can actually see how these mechanisms work in real life and how and we'll tie the knots together about how this can actually be used to more generalizably fund impact on a scalable level. And for this conference, we're basically just trying to bring visibility to this. Um, it's, it's a test and you know, we value feedback, but also go take a look. And um, you know, I think it's a good gateway to a very potentially you know, highly scalable and impactful mechanism. One thing also I wanted to outline is I think within Fund of the Commons, um, I've had various conversations with people in the audience and um, our team has as well. But it's worth knowing that Protocol Labs, uh, beyond hosting Fund of the Commons with um, our you know, various partners who we're really excited to have, uh, we also have a dedicated internal team uh, working on public goods and commons funding. And I think I, this is super interesting because we're not just having these discussions, we're actually taking all the discussions that we have and the feedback that we get from speakers and people and putting it to work in terms of how can we fund public goods and commons and how can we deploy these mechanisms in the Protocol Labs network as a test bed for expanding this into more generalizable cases within Web3 and beyond. So that's really the goal of you know, what Protocol Labs is doing and how we've started this event as you know, kind of a, you know, I'll, I'll steal this one, but a shelling point of being able to you know, bring the right minds together, find out what we're doing, you know, what's working, and then find out where there's areas that we're missing. So we've been doing experiments in terms of, we've actually been building out impact certificate infrastructure. Um, this is you know, this impact certificate thing we just discussed is a first step in that, um, almost proof of concept. But there's also a lot of rigorous thinking, theory, and developing, development being done behind the scenes. So if you are um, in interest in that area, feel free to reach out. We're doing constant work and we love collaborators. There's also, we've done internally multiple retroactive impact evaluation experiments. Um, so across various areas, we're really trying to, you know, de-risk impact evaluation and retroactive funding as a mechanism to you know, provide the right incentives for public goods being built on in our network. Um, so I'll have to put together a broader presentation on that at some point, but there is a lot of interesting stuff going on there. 
We also have experimented with directed public goods investments through blue funds, which Juan mentioned yesterday. Um, this is kind of a balance of retroactive and proactive. We think there's a, a really interesting um, you know, synergy in terms of like signal propagation of what is a valuable public goods, both forward and retroactively, that I think works together, or we believe that works together quite well. So we're working on that as well. And then beyond that, we have a research, research acceleration team um, and our network research team that does a lot of great work in thinking about how can we accelerate the state of research itself um, how can we take valuable research projects and bring those into kind of scalable impact and really cross the innovation chasm, um, which Juan would uh, want me to say here as well. So if you are a developer, a builder, a mechanism designer, um, a mission aligned team, I think you know who you are at this point at, uh, at Fund in the Commons. We welcome all discussions. Come find us today. Reach out to us via email. Um, we have dedicated teams that are working on this and would love to have the conversation with you. So a couple of logistic items. Um, for those of you who weren't there here the first day, uh, we have Wi-Fi. There's various things posted around here. Uh, we have a specialty coffee shop, Parliament, on the first floor. Um, really good coffee. Um, I brought the coffee in here by accident, so don't do that because no food and beverage in, in the auditorium. Um, there's also a courtyard around the corner. Um, we will try to actually shift a little bit of interest for the um, happy hour today to the courtyard because it's beautiful and uh, you know, I think we ended up with momentum in, in the main area, but uh, we'll try and do that today. And just a quick reminder that there's a code of conduct. Um, I think everybody's been fantastic. Uh, keep the positive vibes going. Uh, please follow the code of conduct um, that was you know, generated by the community. And uh, we try to push forward at every single one of these events to make it a very inclusive and open environment. And I'll leave with a you know, just quick rehash of what Evan said earlier, which is like, what is the goal of this event? And the reason we're so excited is because we're trying to build, bring together almost these three different groups of funders, builders, and experts to push forward the state of public goods and commons funding within you know, Web3 and then more broadly. And I think this is a really interesting event because we've seen progress every single time that we've had these events. And we've seen projects kind of emerge from you know, the first one of the commons, build out proofs of concept, find the connections they need, get funding and actually present the results that they've had at a following fund of the comments. So I think the challenge would be or to this crowd and uh, everybody here attending and then everybody here who actually sees this later is what can you do and who can you talk to that would most push your research or where can you contribute to push something forward in the next three months? Um, find that connection, commit to it. And if you have an example of this where you met at Fund of the Commons or you made a connection at Fund of the Commons or you were just, you know, your thinking has advanced since then, come to us and present at the next Fund of the Commons, maybe three months from now, and we will give you the spotlight to show, you know, what you need from this community and like the progress you've made so far. So that's, that's super exciting and, we're, and we really want to push this narrative further and you know, happy to have any conversations about that, about how Protocol Labs can help as well. Perfect. And I think that's the last little bit. Uh, just a quick note that we'll record our se all sessions. Um, please, you know, take all directions here, service them, make them actionable. Uh, we really want to take all the really good thinking that's here and push it into actionable outcomes. Um, whether that's collaborations, whether that's projects that come out of this, whether that's, you know, people here meeting new connections and um, saying that like Fund in the Commons is really something that brought them together, but also give us feedback about how we can make Fund in the Commons better and how can we really continue driving this community forward. So we're having another event soon. Um, again, would love to highlight the progress there and uh, stay tuned. Uh, should be in about three or four months. Perfect. And on that note, um, we'll end a little bit early and I will pass it off to our esteemed MC, Eugene, uh, who's done a fantastic job so far. So Eugene, uh, we'll hop, get you to hop on here and thank you so much.